All right, so after we get those into Photoshop, let's look at uh, how we can set these up, attach these to our model in Maya and start editing them a little bit. So I'm going to uh, I'm apply two different blends to uh, the different models. So the character, I'm just going to go to assign new material and we're just going to set this up with a basic blend. And I can name this uh, character, or say elf body mat. And then I'll select the clothing, assign a, another blend, and call this elf clothing mat. So now with the elf body material, I can plug in the color. So I haven't actually extracted or exported out a color yet in, in Photoshop. So let's do that really quickly. So here's my color. So I'm just going to go save as, and um, we'll just save this as a PNG and name this elf body color. 4096. And I want to put that in my source images folder. Um, <clears throat> and then I'll do the same for my spec. So file, save as. Okay, so it's still saving. I'm too fast or it's too slow for me. So while that's saving, I will jump over to Maya and we're going to plug that into our color so file node. I'm going to turn off my filter and let's see elf looks like it may still be saving there it goes and I'll go ahead and save my spec too. So save as. PNG. And just name this. Spec. And my normal is already there. So I'm not worried about my normals. And I'll do the same for my uh, clothing. So save as <clears throat> PNG. Clothing. OK, so in Maya, now I can connect these guys up. So body color goes in the color. I want to hit six on my keyboard so I can see that. I'm going to plug specular into specular color. And then my Normal map is going to come under bump mapping, and that will automatically create a, uh, a bump node for me. And I just need to use as, I need to change that to tangent space normals. And then I can hook up my bump map to that, or my normal map, which I should already have body normal. If I hit seven on my keyboard, I don't have any lights, but I should still be able to see that normal map a little bit. And then for the clothing material, I'll do the same. 
I'm going to plug in the color. Elf clothing color. And I don't have a specular map yet for that, so I'm just going to plug in the normal map. Elf clothing normal. And for the time being, um, so this doesn't really show through like it is currently, what I want to do is I'll just hide the clothing real quick. I'm going to select some of these faces. And then I'm just going to apply a Blinn or a Lambert to these guys and take my transparency all the way up so I do not see it. Now if I unhide my shirt and pants, oops, it's there. See it a little bit in the knees, but again, I can always just select those guys and assign that Lambert to. And now we're not going to see them. Okay, so I have those connected up. Uh, let's jump back into Photoshop and look at some things we can do here. So with my specular map, what I want to do is I want to put some color in here. So I'm going to go to, um, actually let's, let's get our green tint to our character first. So let's see if we can just uh, get away with changing the color of our skin tone. So let's go to add an adjustment layer, use saturation. I'm going to shift and click Control, Shift, Alt. I'm going to Alt click in between them so that just attaches that to that color saturation. So, and then I can change the hue. So I can start to give that a little bit of a green tint. And then when I'm done, I can just save as my PNG color, replace it, and then jump back into Maya. And, uh, and whenever that finishes, you can just update that texture.
So once that finished save, saving, I can jump over to Maya and I can just select my body mat and I can just double click that sample and it should update. Yep. So now he has a little bit of a green tint. I'm not sure if I like that too much. So I think what I might try to do instead is come back into Photoshop. Let's get rid of that hue saturation. And I'm just going to make a solid color. Solid layer, fill that with green. And let's go through some blending modes. I think overlay is probably going to work the best. There's overlay, and then we can just take that opacity way down. And that might work a little bit better. Not sure. Not sure which one of those I like better, but um, just to give you some different options. Maybe if we do like a hue saturation on everything instead of just that. Maybe something like that might look okay. Let's give it a shot. <clears throat> So I saved that out. Take that. That looks a little bit better. I think it'll it'll look a little bit better whenever he's uh, he's got some some eyes. He looks a little creepy now because he doesn't have any eyes. So I could probably adjust that a little bit more. Take the opacity of that down. And probably something like that. So now with the spec, um, basically I want to give it color. So I'm going to select my top layer up here and use the hotkey Control Alt Shift E. And that will basically take all of my layers below here and merge them together as a new layer. So, and then I want to move that up into my specular layer. And I want to put that under my spec. And then I can set my spec to something like multiply. So now the colors that are going to get reflected are going to be the same color as his skin. <clears throat> I can probably get away with doing, like, say, a hue saturation or a levels on that. Let's do a levels. And get that to be a little bit brighter of a green. You know, it may work out well if I wanted to, to just make a specular green. And then... Uh, I think I might actually do that. Just make his specular green and make his actual color, skin color, normal. So let's see how that looks. So I will save out my specular. And I will save out my color again, just normal color, not green. Mm -hmm. 
All right, and then we'll jump back into Maya. I will update my shader. So now he has a little bit of like a green shimmery refraction to him. So I think I like that. Now, as far as the clothes go, um, rather than rather than uh, making a specular map for them, what I can do is jump over to my hypershade. And I will see elf clothing. We'll graph that. And I'm just going to take my one of the channels of my color. So like the that's my normal map. I want the color. So I'll just take like the um, Actually, I can just do the whole color. That might be a good idea too. So I just take my map, my color map, and plug that in the specular color as well. And uh, and that will make it look a little bit better, but it's still a little too reflective. Uh, clothing is not going to be all that reflective. So I'm going to come in here and continue to take the. Uh, see specular eccentricity down quite a bit specular roll off take that down quite a bit to where it just has a very little bit of specularity to it and uh, and that's it that is texturing your character um, next, I will do a video on the eyes and uh, and the teeth, but for the most part, that's uh, the quick rundown on how you would go about texturing uh, your character.